guys, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to add a background and an iPhone to your screen recording. So as you can see here behind me, I have text, I have an iPhone, and I have something inside the iPhone, a screenshot that I took. But I'm just going to be showing you guys how to do that on a video editor on your iPhone. This is free. And let me know if you want me to do this video on other apps as well that you have on the iPhone. If you're curious and you don't want that specific video editor that I'm talking about in this video. So I really hope you guys find this video helpful and let's get into the video. Okay, so what you want to do is go ahead and go into Fonto. You don't have to do this step, but it's just easier for me since I like making my own backgrounds. But you can just go ahead and go on the internet and find a photo that is 1280 by 720. That's the size you want to adjust it to since that is the size of a video. So like I said, this is just my preference to make my own background. But you guys can go ahead and just save a photo over the internet if that's easier for you. But once I did that, I just decided to adjust the color and I went with... A color pattern of blue green and white so Fonzo does give you a bunch of blending options and I went ahead and choose vertical but you can have a lot of different like horizontal or you can just have solid blocks if you want with the same colors but like I said I went ahead and went with vertical since that worked best for me but like I said you can just do whatever you'd like so then I went ahead and export that and clicked on use now you can add text to your photo if you want to, you don't need to do this, but I just feel like it takes up a little of the photo so that it's not just a blank photo with the iPhone on it. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on how to, and then I'm just going to make that in a font that I want it to be, and then I'm going to go ahead and adjust the size and style it a bit, and I'm just going to go and add a stroke around it just to make it pop on the background. So then I did that, and then in a different font, I went ahead and said add a iPhone and a background to your screen recording so I just went ahead and did that just to like I said fill up the photo after I did that I went ahead and adjusted it to how I wanted it to fit onto my photo so I adjusted the size a bit I played around with the two letters that I have there the two text so that it fits in nicely and just that I have it to my preference and I decided to add a stroke around that too to make it pop out of the background a little bit and once I did that I went ahead and got, went into Safari and I typed in iPhone PNG so this is going to be where your screen recording is going to go in you have a bunch of options here and you want the one facing the screen not the back of the phone and i just decided to go with this one since it looks most like my phone and i went ahead and saved that then i just went and clicked on add photo in fonto and i added that to my design so i just adjusted the size again as you can see it doesn't fill up the whole photo that's why i added the text just so everything can fit in and it's not just a plain photo with a bunch of blank spots. So I went ahead and saved that photo to my photo gallery and went into KitKat Pro, my video editor. And you can also use KitKat, which is the free version, if you want to. And it just has a watermark, but rather than that, you can use all the other features that's in KitKat Pro. So now I went ahead and imported that photo into my project. As you can see here and this is what the photo looks like and then I went ahead and also adjusted the time you can do however long your screen recording is so I just went ahead and did that and then after I got it right I went ahead and added my video so my screen recording was about 15 seconds long so not too long and I adjusted that to the timeline and as you can see here it's not in the screen so I just double tapped on that and then I went ahead and adjusted it so that it fit into my iPhone screen perfectly so a good thing about this is you don't have to worry about the size if it's too wide or too long since if you adjust it right into the screen it basically just looks right so as you can see here this is what mine is looked like it does take a few tries but then it fits perfectly now weird angles or weird black spots sticking out of the screen so just make sure to do this with precision and then it will turn out pretty good you can also edit your video if you have parts of the screen recording that you don't want to be in your project so as you can see this is what the screen recording looks like it looks clean and clear the swipe doesn't look glitchy or anything and once i did that i just decided to export that in 1080p and then it is save to my camera roll and it's as easy as that okay so i hope you guys find this video helpful and that it could help you improve your video editing i 
searched so many times for this types of videos and I wish when I started editing on my phone that I had this video. So I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you think of the method that I'm using and other editors that you want me to do videos on or just any other editing videos that you want me to do. And definitely subscribe. I would really appreciate that. I will see you guys in my next video. Be weird and be proud of it. Love you guys so much. Bye.